from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I am so glad you're here because here we take your life to the next level. We help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your health. And when people ask us, how's life, how's business? One word with enthusiasm, unbelievable. Nobody will know what you're up to, but they'll think you're doing great. At least somebody's alive. The rest of the folks are probably dead. They just haven't been buried yet. So when people ask you, how's everything? Unbelievable. And when they follow up, say, now, wait a minute, Boaz, is it really going that good? Here's the follow-up line. All I can say is, it's unbelievable. How's everything with you? Well, I'm so glad you're here. As I said, this is episode number 47 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one, I Rode a Moped to the White House. This deals with kindness. I remember the year was um, 1966, we had immigrated to America from Israel when I was nine years old in 1956. So mind you, 1966, by then I had learned English because I did not speak a word of English. I had begun working in a radio as a newscaster. And in my senior year in high school, right after my senior year in high school, I worked for a couple of months that summer on odd jobs making some money because I wanted to go to Washington, D.C. I wanted to see my nation's capital because I was then and I still am now very proud of being an American, very privileged to live in this country. And so I had enough money, and so I went to Washington, D.C., but I wasn't old enough to rent a car, so the only thing I could rent to get around if I didn't want to take the bus was a moped. So there I am, riding around Washington, D.C. in a moped. Mind you, I'd never ridden any kind of a two-wheel vehicle motorized before. I had a little briefcase, which had nothing in it but my lunch, and I'd made some appointments. I don't know how I got the guts to do this with my senators and congressmen from Oklahoma, where we lived at the time. And I got to meet them. I got to go into their offices and meet them. And it was simply amazing. And I remember the moped, I wasn't really good enough at riding it. So I didn't really understand about not holding on to the front brake quicker than the back brake because you could flip over onto something. And the moped uh, almost crashed into a bus and it died in front of the White House. And it was just, you know, what do we know when we're at that age? But anyway, I always have believed in great adventures. So being in broadcasting, I really wanted to meet a very special anchor man at that time who was on one of the networks. So I rode my moped up to WRC, which is the NBC um, station in Washington, D.C., one of their major stations around the country for the NBC network. And I parked it right outside of the receptionist's office because I thought maybe if she would see how I came, she might feel sorry for me. So I walked up to the receptionist and said, my name is Boaz and I have come all the way from Oklahoma to meet so-and-so. I'll tell you who in a moment. And she obviously looked at my mode of transportation and thought, he came all that way on that? I guess I better do something. She said, wait right here. So she went down the hall and she came back a couple of minutes later and said, follow me. So I followed her. And it was about uh, 5, uh, 55 in the evening or something, almost 6 o'clock. And she leads me into a big television studio. And there he is. This national worldwide newscaster is standing there. And he is closing his television program. A national broadcast. He is closing it. And so she goes over and talks to him as he gets off the air. And he comes over to me and says, uh, hello, I understand you came all the way from Oklahoma to meet me. And I said, yes, I did. And he said, well, why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk for a few minutes. I said, absolutely, I'd love that because I want to be a big time broadcaster one day. And so as we walked down the hall and we saw some people behind some glass windows, mind you, this is 1966. And there was a young fellow behind the glass window and he pointed to him and said, that man will be famous one day. And that was Willard Scott, who is the famous weatherman on the Today Show. And then we went down to his office and we sat down. And for 45 minutes, this man was so genuine and so delightful and so interested in my life. And he listened to me and he was so kind to me. And I will never forget, and I was so sorry when he passed away a few years ago. Those of you who are old enough will remember on NBC, the national news program years ago was hosted by David Brinkley and Chet Huntley. It was the Huntley-Brinkley Report 
the national news on NBC each night, and the man who was so kind to me was David Brinkley. He had no reason to be kind to a young man from across the country, but he was. And, oh, something funny on his door. You remember the, I, I said the name of the program was the Huntley Brinkley Report. Up on top of his door was, was this wooden sign said the Brinkley Huntley Report. All right, I thought it was funny. But once again, I'll never forget the kindness that this world famous broadcaster showed me back in that day in 1966. So what can we do every day that might affect somebody forever and they might remember that moment of kindness? I just suggest both of us, Today, tomorrow, let's show kindness. Let's be kind. Let's just be kind. So the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV is I am kind to everyone. I am kind to everyone. Do that for 30 days. The first thing every morning and the last thing every night, say it out loud and watch what beauty, what kindness, what joy that brings into your life when you focus on being kind to everyone. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them to be very beneficial, powerful ideas, please forward this to five of your friends. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and subscribe to this free weekly broadcast. Maybe they will be kinder and we can all pass that to other people. By the way, I have many of my reports on YouTube and here's the connection to my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Boaz Power TV. That's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Boaz Power TV. It's a pleasure to have you with me. You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness, and you are very kind. After all, you are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.